Hi, my name is Heather Cadogan. I teach biology at Cecil College and I just want to spend a few minutes telling you why I think biology is important. Even if you are not interested in a career in the sciences, biology still provides a great foundation that you can use making decisions in your life every day. Biology allows us to understand ourselves, how our bodies work, and what our place is in the world. And again, this information provides a foundation for making decisions every day in our lives. We all want to be healthy. We all need to take care of ourselves. We make decisions all the time. They can be simple, you know, every year, should I get a flu shot? Why are vaccinations important? Um, if I do get diagnosed with a disease, what course of treatment is best for me? The more understanding you have, the more um, background you have will help you make an informed decision and in what will be the best decision for you. We make decisions about what kind of food that we're going to choose when we go to the store. Uh, one of the things we talk about in biology class is what is a GMO. There's a lot of news about that lately, a genetically modified organism. Should I choose that over a non-GMO? Should I choose organic? Does it matter? Um, choices about being a vegetarian, how much meat to consume. Having an understanding of biology really informs these choices and allows you to make um, the best choice for you. We all share resources. Again, we count on having clean air and clean water, adequate and safe food supply. Um, there are decisions that have to be made locally as a society, um, also globally, and we all have a voice in how these resources are going to be regulated and distributed. Um, so it's important to have an understanding of the basis of the issue so that we can use our voice effectively and make the best choices. But even on a very personal level, in our homes, every day, we make choices about things that can affect ourselves and affect our environment. So things that seem very simple. How many times a year should I put fertilizer on my lawn? That fertilizer doesn't just stay contained on your lawn. It may run off and have an effect on the larger surrounding environment. Thinking about your carbon footprint, you know, there's a lot of talk about reducing your carbon footprint. What does that even mean? You know, we talk about the carbon cycle in biology, so you can have an understanding of what that means, why should we even care about it, and that can help make some choices too when you think about the energy source that you're going to use. Should I consider solar panels for my house? Um, what kind of car should I choose? Should I take into account the gas mileage? Should I look at an electric car? Um, just to gain an understanding of all the different things that need to be weighed. And something as simple as planting a garden, right? What kind of plants do you want to choose? We talk about the difference between native and non-native plants and why that matters in the larger picture. So there are a lot of benefits to having a background in biology, whether you want to pursue a career in the sciences or whether you just use it in your own daily life. It can provide a benefit, so I encourage everybody, take a biology class, bring your questions, and it'll be fun.